all advances in the kingdom of God will require you to die to self and pick up the cross and follow Jesus all the way. My dear brothers and sisters in Jesus Christ, the sower in today's gospel, as we know, is Jesus. Or perhaps any of us who seek to share the seed of the word of God with others and see them coming closer in a deeper relationship with Jesus. When the sower casts a seed, some fell on the path. And this soil actually typifies people with hardened hearts. The seed of the word of God does not get below the surface level of their lives. The birds of the air typify thoughts from Satan that immediately steal away the truth of the message. Their minds wander away always to worldly things. Soil that is rocky is the heart that is very shallow. The seed cannot get root down deep enough to gather nutrients or moisture. These are people who are not committed to right actions. Soil that does not speak of a person who remembers the word of God and takes the truth home, but his manner of life does not get affected in any way. Finally, we come to the good seed that fell on good soil that had been adequately prepared by good deeds, repentance and conviction of sin. Their mind, will and emotions are fully integrated to doing whatever it takes to hear the word of God and fulfill the will of God. We can determine by our level of commitment to walk a 30, 60 or 100 fold. All advances in the kingdom of God will require you to die to self and pick up the cross and follow Jesus all the way. Jesus shows us seed of God's word generously in all types of soil, hoping all the seeds will sprout, take root and bear fruits in abundance. Like the farmers, Jesus does not control the growth of the seed, nor force us to accept the word of God. The call is to prepare our hearts, pay heed to the word of God and try to yield fruits in abundance. How well we have prepared our soil place an enormous role in how well the seeds, that is the word of God, will grow within us and bear fruit in abundance. Amen.